Hey, welcome to Exodus chapter 18 and verse 13 to 16. We're breaking on here and now there's a new problem that's going to show up. Let's see what happens. It came about the next day that Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood about Moses from the morning until the evening. Now when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he was doing for the people, he said, What is this thing that you were doing for the people? Why do you alone sit as judge and all the people stand about you from morning until evening? Moses said to his father-in-law, Because the people come to me to inquire of God. When they have a dispute, it comes to me, and I judge between a man and his neighbor and make known the statutes of God and his laws. So, two or three bits here. Uh, one thing, right? Uh, we haven't got to the Ten Commandments yet. We're, we're not there yet, but there's already statutes and laws. The people already are recognizing there are things that, that God says, do this, don't do this. Like the Sabbath is, for example, one of these things. that Sabbath is there before the Ten Commandments. Don't think the Sabbath was added on Mount Sinai. It was already there. We saw in chapter 16, two chapters back, right? God is giving them instructions how they keep the Sabbath and so on. So Sabbath pre-exists the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. That's an obvious piece. Uh, another thing here is uh, all day long the people are coming and being judged by Moses. And boy, that's that, that could wear a guy out. Can you imagine just being counseling people all day from morning to, till evening? Uh, this is cockeyed, and we'll see more. Jethro's going to have some advice about that when we look at tomorrow. But that is something that's going to wear Moses out. And even though one might be competent to do something like that, it's better to distribute responsibility. Distribute it, and that's the kind of counsel he's going to get from Jethro. But we're, we'll save that for tomorrow. Now here at verse 14, Jethro does ask him the question, Why are you alone? Why are you the only one doing this? Why are you not distributing the responsibility? And here's a place where some of us fall down, right? We kind of feel like if we don't do it, it's not going to be done right. If I don't do it, who's going to do it the right way? And if I don't do it, how is it going to get done? And so sometimes there's people, we kind of do the, the cowboys and Indians thing, you know. We're going to just do it our own way and, and uh, everybody else will follow along. No, that's not the best plan. We need to do things as groups. We just had the case before this fighting Amalek, right? And there was teamwork all around. And here's Moses doing it all alone. And so we'll say more about that tomorrow morning. But um, the question is asked, why do you alone sit as judge? Remember, the judges would sit and the people would stand. But why is he letting them wear him down that way? So something needs to be corrected here. And as we already said, God, some of God's laws have already been revealed. And Moses is, uh, there was a revelation before the Ten Commandments. So yeah, that's, that's chapter 20. This is chapter 18, right? Got that in order. And so Moses is judging between them and he's making known God's statutes and his laws. So Moses is, is uh, helping them interpret and understand and, and that's the way it's going. So the law existed before Sinai, God's will existed, and uh, we'll probably say more as we get up to the Ten Commandments. But here, it's just interesting to see there Moses is leading, he's, he's solving these disputes, and there must have been a lot of petty disputes. Remember, there's a lot of grumbling, right? A lot of quarreling and grumbling, right? We've seen day by day. So this, a lot of this must have been very taxing and really would wear a person out emotionally. So anyway, there's Moses. He's trying to do the right thing, but he needs some help. Jethro's going to give him some suggestions. That'll be tomorrow morning. And we'll see you tomorrow morning as well, God willing.